Here's a quick trick tip on how to nollie heel flip. Uh, to nollie heel flip like me perfectly every single time, just follow these tips and you'll land it every try without even thinking about it. If you want to do it exactly like how I did, like exactly, then this is the perfect way to do it. Okay, so first you're going to want to put your feet like this. And then just, just toss your nose and flip the wood. Like that, okay, and it works every shot. Perfect. So I think the reason people find this so difficult is because they don't eat a steak pie. The steak pie is the most important part of the mouth tradition. So I'm going to eat the steak part. Just remember, no steak pie in mouth, my nolly heel flip will go south. All right, let's give it another six try. All right, let's give it one more six try. It's way too slow. Another pro tip would be to make sure that your selfie stick is at least 3 meters long instead of 2 because 2 meters isn't long enough to capture the footage properly. Especially not the way I'm trying to capture it, which is probably the worst way I could possibly imagine. So if you want an actual tip, I would say foot kind of here and your other foot kind of in this pocket and you want to, when you bend down you want to lean back a little bit, like use your butt as your weight, uh, use your butt to counterbalance your weight. And then when you pop your deck, you kind of want to pop it so that it twists a little bit. That's hard to explain, but like when you do it, that's what it feels like. And then you pop, keep all your weight over your flicking foot here. Like don't put your weight over this leg because that kind of can mess you up. Once you're in the air, literally just do that. Like try and dig your heel down and out. Like don't just go, I mean that can work, but try and cur like bring your toes towards your leg as you kick out and it'll make your heel extend like that which should then make contact with the board don't try and slide it up literally just boot it that way and it's more of just like a power trick than it is a finesse trick literally just boot it and learn the flip that way land on it upside down at first and then just keep booting it and booting it and booting it and eventually you'll boot it so hard it'll flip and you'll land it <laughs> But yeah, literally just focus on like when it, so when I was learning this I learned it by mistake because I was just trying to do a nolly Someone's screaming fucking asshole. So when I was learning how to do this trick I was literally trying to learn how to nolly and uh, What would happen is because I was scared of nollying I would do this like like that, right? You want to do that, but while you're in the air just kick it that way and see it rolls over already <laughs> like uh, So once you're in the air if you get that kick to make it roll over you can actually get the board to flip over it's really not that hard and uh, if you can't even nolly it's probably worth trying it anyways because it's not something where you have to like roll your ankle then move it this way you literally just can boot it and catch it and it'll flip so as I say a great beginning step with this I would say would be to, to do your nolly kind of like this kind of like that but then just leave your fuck it there's always some bullshit noise in this place so I'd say when you're learning this, the safest way to do it is to just roll around like you're about to nolly and then chicken out like this. Do that, like literally just do that. And when you're in the air, you can feel the board stick to your other foot. So you just want to focus on trying to flick it from that point, like, like that. And because you're already chickening out the nolly and you've already got your front foot on the ground before you flick the board, um, it's a very safe way to practice the feeling of this trick and then when you come back to committing to it you know learn your nollies properly and then once you can do that just do the nolly pop and also the flick and at the same time and try and land it upside down chances are if you boot it enough times that you start flipping it consistently you might get to the point where it just flips over and you're not expecting it and you land it because that's kind of what happened to me so yeah uh, if you keep sticking to these tricks, you too, Mr. Pigeon, will be able to nolly heel flip. Even without the steak pie method.